Hello and welcome to our very last video for our um, literature appreciation lesson with the book The Night Before Christmas. Um, we are going to just wrap it up here by adding our Sharpie. And I want to um, kind of go over a few things in this regard, but first Sarah is going to start by reminding us what kind of um, mindset we're going to have while we're doing our lesson. Number one, always try your best. Number two, if you get frustrated, take a deep breath, count to ten, take a deep breath, and try again. Number three, everyone's art will turn out differently. Your artwork is uniquely yours. Number four, art is not perfect, and I made up a rule that always have fun, because if you're not having fun, take a break, and then come back. Awesome. Okay, so these are the materials you're going to need. You need, I'm going to take that off, you are going to need your finished drawing, your finished illustrations this of the two mom. pages. This, this one's mine. I finished my illustrations. And you, mine. yep, and here is Sarah's. She, hers is finished. So here are Sarah's two so pages this illustrated. One, he, he's putting like a present in, and then here are the reindeers. And here's the moon, and he's coming up the chimney. Awesome. Beautiful. Okay, so Sarah, leave yours there because I want to um, note something to everybody. So do you see how Sarah colored in inside the box? So what you're going to want to do is if you have not yet done this, you are going to take your oh, colored this is pencils. Chimney, the, um, oh, the gray thing is a chimney. It is, yeah. You're going to take your colored pencils or your crayons or whatever you ended up using and you're going to color in a little bit inside your box that was outlined with pencil because when when I collect them for Maestro Hoskins class and when Maestro Cruz's um, volunteer does it for her class, what you are going to, or what they're going to be doing, thank you, Sarah, they're going to be gluing the um, writing of the book onto a piece of construction paper, and then that piece of construction paper is going to go over that box. If you didn't color close enough to the box, then when the person glues down the, the piece of paper, there might be some white around it, um, and it might not look as clean and crisp as this does. So take a minute and make sure you go and inside the box on both sides, and right? my brother, Zach, he said, oh, what is this? And I said, oh, it's part of the chimney, but I just kind of to go over this spot because the words are going to go on that, so it's like under it. It's under the writing. Yeah, yeah, totally. So go ahead and do that last, um, that final step. Uh, before we get started here and you're just going to want to make sure that you have everything colored that um, the whole entire page is full of color okay and then the other material that you are going to need you're only going to need one more thing you're either going to need what, light. we need to write our names so we need a pencil well you can just do that with one of your colored pencils mm -hmm. you're going to need like either a really thin sharpie point okay or you can use the Sharpie that was provided at the beginning of the school year that you should still have. Or if you're, um, if you, in your home you have a black pen that your, um, the adults in your house might write with, you can take that, like the, uh, just a pen that your, the adults in your house might write with. like and, a blue one, because sometimes if you get a pen and it looks like a gray one, it turns out like a different color. Make sure it's blue. You can test it out on scratch paper, okay? Or not blue, black. We're looking for black, okay? Black. So we're just looking for a really thin-tipped black pen. And like I said, if you don't have anything thin-tipped, you could use your black Sharpie uh, that was given out at the beginning of school, but just know that that's on the thicker side, so you won't be able to get the really tiny, thin details like Santa's eyes. Can we do, like, um, a color pencil? Yes, or you can sharpen the tip of a color pencil, black color pencil, really, really well, and that can act as your um, uh, as as your Sharpie. Is what that the moon? Defined. That's the moon, yeah. Okay, so grab something like these, okay, anything like that, and then we're going to get started here. I'm going to give you yours. And yeah, start. So before you start, though, hang on a second before you start. Um, well, we are really, really, really thin. 
yeah, the, we, I, we just, I had that in my drawer. So, so this is an example right here on the um, right hand side. I've already done the Sharpie. So if you look at say my, my Santa, Look at how sharp his entire outfit and his face and his eyes. Look oh how sharp gosh. everything looks, okay? So I, but look, I didn't Sharpie everything. I didn't Sharpie the, the, um, the sleigh because I used my color pencils and I um, outlined with my color pencils. And then I didn't use it on my reindeer's horns, okay? So you're not going to use it everywhere. I didn't do the moon. Just do it in the well, areas me, that you really want to make sure it pops. Well, me, with my reindeers, I didn't do that. What I did is I did lines like that, so I have to show it. Yeah, if you want to see yours, you're going to have to do it, okay? So you're going to notice that there are going to be areas that are going to look better if you Sharpie them, and then there are going to be areas that you don't need the Sharpie. Okay, here's another start? example. I did a really um, dark outline all around my presents. So I probably won't need it around my presents. I won't did a dark outline around But can the, I do it around my presents? Yeah, you get to decide. Okay. Um, I did a really dark outline around the skirt of my tree. So I'm not going to need to do it there. Okay, so you decide where the black Sharpie needs to be... Um, uh, traced okay start? so go ahead and start i'm gonna go ahead and start we'll do this for a little while and then the video when then we'll be done okay so i'm gonna I, i'm gonna define my santa's hat right here because there is a lot of red behind my santa and the um the, which is the chimney okay so i'm gonna be sure to but i have stockings and i'm definitely gonna put on my stockings Yep, you just decide where it is that you want to trace your Sharpie marks. So this is pretty much it, you guys. We're just going to wrap it up here. Well, we don't even really finish the video and I think it's... Yeah, we don't really need to just be sitting here in silence. Everybody knows how to do this. We've done this many times now this year. We've used black Sharpie to make things pop, right? Like, so sometimes I like to turn my paper Me too. to do my work. It When I turn my paper and angle it a certain way, it's easier to get some of my lines. Okay, instead, of, instead of trying to turn my hands. Well, I show them sure. Something. What would you like to show me? So... You see where I did this one that he's putting it in? I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna trace the Sharpie over the Santa's um arm because that I it's like under it. Like when you like do this, it's not over it, it's under it. Great point. Yes, that is a great point. Okay. So we'll just do this together for a few more minutes and then we will, uh, we'll just end the video and you guys can finish tracing, uh, yeah, tracing with your Sharpie until you yourself, you're all done with your work. Yeah, because we might finish before you, might finish before us. Yeah. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you turn this in at the next pickup of materials. And any other art that you have that you have finished that you haven't turned in yet. And when you turn it on in, don't like crumple it. Like just maybe you can fold it once or twice, but please don't crumple it because then it's hard to put it in the portfolio and then it's really bent. Yeah, really try to make sure that you don't crease and fold and, and, um, you know, damage the the edges around. Make sure that you're treating your art with respect and you're making sure that it's um, being kept in a safe place and that when you do turn it in, it's as neat as possible. Mm -hmm. We always take pride in our, in our work and our efforts in everything we do in life. Okay. So I'm just kind of going around, figuring out where I want to Sharpie. There's really no right or wrong way of doing this. It's really up to what you see.
see with your eyes that you're like, hmm, I want to make that a lot more bold. Or I want to make that pop more. I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm going to outline that with Sharpie. Ooh, my Christmas tree is pop more. Do you, did you do your whole Christmas tree? Yeah, and it popped more. Mom, can I do the chimney with the fat one? Oh sure. Do it with the skinny. You you can decide. Why don't you why don't you just do a little bit and see what it looks like with it with that and see if you wanna keep yeah, going. Yeah, I, I think I like it. I think I like it. Oh great. So Sarah's deciding to use different sharpies. She's doing a thin one. She's doing a thicker one. It's your choice. Yeah, because some places you need thicker. Some places you need thin. Just remember that in the really, really tiny details, like Santa's eyes, you don't want to use the big, chunky I know, because then ones. it'll be like all over, and then they will almost be touching it. Yeah, it might, it might uh, make your Wait, eyes Mama, did disappear. You, do I do, like, do I do the line right here? Or do I, like, don't you? Like, um, I would, but that's your, you'd make that decision. Well, I, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you, what would you do? Oh, you're asking me my opinion? Yeah, I, I would make the line right there. Mm -hmm. You, if you're kind of like, oh, should I do a line here or not? Um, you can always ask. Oh, I'm almost done with this page, actually. You can always ask an adult, like, hey, should, what do you think? Give me your opinion. Like, what's your advice? Should I do? Should I outline this right here, or should, or does it pop enough? You know, what looks right to you? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna wrap it up here, and then Sarah and I are gonna keep working on our um, sharpening and then we're going to, Sarah and I will be done with it and we will make sure we put it in a safe spot. So I'd like everyone to just take a second, take a break real quick and I want you to turn your paper over and you're gonna write your name on it. Oh, we did it already. Really? I think, yeah, my name's on it on the back. Mine is not. Yours is not. Oh, maybe my, we didn't do that. Okay, maybe, maybe I just did it. it. Yeah, <laughs> okay. okay. So. I'd like you to take a color pencil, a pencil, whatever, not a pen. It doesn't matter what color, but I'm doing it. Ideally a pencil or a pen uh, or a color pencil and write your name nice and neat and so that I can see it or your teachers can see it. And make sure you have your name on all your art pieces and then paper clip and all your- And some people when we came, there's no um, like names. Yeah, so like, who is this? Who is this? Sarah and I have already gone through a lot of the art that's been turned in, and, and we have some. some of the sharpie. We have some no namers. So this is why you don't write your name on the back with the sharpie because it bleeds through. So please only do it in pencil or color pencil. I did right there. Yeah, thank you. You can keep going. Now it doesn't show. Yes, thank you. All right. When you're all done, you are responsible for cleaning up your workstation. Put all your color pencils away, put your Sharpies away, return everything where you got them from, paper clip your finished Pick them art. up because when you're done, because then your mom, because then you will make your mom and dad do it. Yeah, you're responsible for cleaning up your own workstation, not your, not the adults in your house. So put everything away, put paper clip all your finished artwork together, make sure your name's on the back of everything, and then it will all be ready to go for the next material pickup date. And I can't wait to see how yours turns out. Can you show them what? Where are you? Sure. So Sarah's, Sarah's going to be... Uh, She's gonna keep going. Okay, I don't know if you guys see here. Well, I did slanted lines, so you guys can see. But I'm gonna do slanted lines, and then here's like I did little like um like uh, like little flowers are right there. Okay, and I my opinion is I wouldn't do any sharpie on that. I know. Yeah. If I would, then it will wouldn't like show. It'll be like. Yeah. It w wouldn't show. So some things are going to look really good and pop really nicely with the Sharpie and other places you just don't need it, okay? So you get to decide that. I uh, hope you guys had a good and time. I didn't do my Santa yet. Well, I will do it. And remember, finish before you turn it in. Yes, please finish before you turn it in. Okay, Sarah and I hope you had a really good time with us during these three videos. And um, we can't wait to see your finished artwork. And we will see you for the next lesson. Bye. Bye.